welcome in this question we are going to verify gauss divergence theorem and the question is verify gauss divergence theorem and show that the surface integral of x cube minus y z i cap minus 2x square y j cap plus 2k cap dot n cap ds is equal to 1 upon 3 e raised per 5 where s denotes the surface of the cube bounded by the planes x equal to 0 x equal to a y equal to 0 y equal to a and z equal to 0 z equal to a in this question, we have to verify Gauss divergence theorem. That means we have to verify that the surface integral equals this one as well as the volume integral also equals this one. So, what is Gauss divergence theorem? The Gauss divergence theorem can be applied for a closed surface. So this, this theorem can be applied to a closed surface. If the surface is closed one, that means it will enclose a volume. So you can connect this surface integral with the volume integral. So volume integral can be connected to the surface integral. So the Gauss divergence theorem connects surface integral of a vector field suppose it is a dot ds or you can write it n cap ds it can be converted to volume integral dv and here this a can be written as divergence of a it is actually volume integral divergence of a dv it is the statement of cos divergence theorem because there is divergence here it is also called the divergence theorem it may be called Gauss theorem, Gauss divergence theorem or divergence theorem. Since the surface is closed, you can put this sign also here. Now, here it is given in the surface integral form. So, by comparing, we can say that the question is A equal to x cube minus yz i cap minus 2x square y j cap plus 2k cap. It is A and we have to find A dot n cap ds also we have to find the right hand side that is the that is the divergence of a dv now what is the surface surface is the cube x axis y axis z axis we can draw this cube x equal to a it is y equal to a it is z equal to a so we can draw this cube like this one So it is this surface. So it has six faces. You can write it as A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. So there are six faces and these faces are A, B, C, D. This face is having X equal to A and the opposite one on that side it is also x equal to 0. This face has y equal to a and the opposite one, this one, it is y equal to 0. Also this face, the upper one, this face is z equal to a and the lower one is z equal to 0. So the normal of this face, x equal to a, it is i cap and the normal of this one, it is minus i cap. The normal of this y equal to a, it will be j cap and the normal of y equal to 0, it will be minus j cap. Normal of z equal to a, it will be k cap and normal of z equal to 0, it is minus of k cap that is towards below. So here it means that surface integral can be calculated by splitting it into six parts. That means you can say this surface is S1 and this surface is S2, the plus y that is S3 and this one is S4, this surface is S5 and this surface is S6. So you can say the surface integral of A dot n cap ds, S can be written as S1, 
a dot n cap ds plus s2 a dot n cap ds plus s3 a dot n cap ds plus s4 it is double integral because it is surface integral so it is s4 a dot n cap ds plus s5 a dot n cap ds plus s6 a dot n cap ds so it is s6 so it is the sum of six surfaces now for the surface s1 s1 is a b c d it is x equal to a and the normal is i cap so for the first surface that is s1 for s1 that is a b c d this x equal to a the normal n cap equal to i cap so with x equal to a and n cap equal to i cap the a dot n cap a dot n cap this will be zero this will be zero a dot n cap will be i dot i that will be one and we have to put x equal to a that means it becomes a cube minus yz and ds can be converted directly to dy dz because the projection will also be the same because it is parallel to yz plane and y varies from 0 to a, a and z varies from 0 to a so limits are 0 to a 0 to a or you can say the surface integral s1 a dot n cap ds can be written as y equal to 0 to a z equal to 0 to a a dot n cap is a cube minus y z dz dy so it is equal to y equal to 0 to a we will integrate with respect to z that will be a cube z minus y z square by 2 it is 0 to a d by so it is equal to y equal to 0 to a it is a4 minus a square by 2 y so it is dy integrating it again with respect to y a4 y minus a square by 4 4y square 0 to a so it is equal to a5 minus a4 by 4 so the integral the first one the first integral is and the first integral this one is equal to a5 minus a4 by 4 so that is the integral of s1 a dot n cap ds the first one along first surface if we take integral along second surface in the second surface the normal lies along minus x axis that is minus of i cap and this x is always zero so we will write a dot n cap ds for the second surface s2 the second surface s2 the n cap equal to minus of i cap a equal to zero y equal to 0 to a z equal to 0 to a and ds can be written as dy dz so s2 a dot n cap ds can be written as y equal to 0 to a z equal to 0 to a and this a dot n cap a dot n cap n cap is minus i cap and a is this one so a is this one that means it will be zero it will be zero a dot i dot minus i is minus one and x equal to zero we will put x equal to zero that means zero minus y z and minus one so it will be y z so a dot n cap will be y z it is dz and dy so it will be equal to y equal to zero to a we will integrated with respect to z that means y z is square by 2 0 to a so it will be y equal to 0 to a y a square by 2 
dy. So it will be a square by 2, y square by 2 and 0 to a. So it can be written equal to a square here, a square here, a 4 by 4. The second integral is now equal to a 4 by 4. That is along S2. Now along S3. S3 is this surface. S3 is this surface. Here y equal to a and the n cap is j cap. So along S3. Along S3. n cap equal to j cap. y equal to a. And x varies from 0 to a. And z varies from 0 to a. ds now become dx dz. So along this surface S3, this S3 a dot n cap ds can be written as x equal to 0 to a, z equal to 0 to a, a dot n cap. A dot n cap is how much? A dot n cap. N cap is how much? N cap is j cap. That means the second term will be here. Second term is minus 2x square y. Minus 2x square y. So it is minus of 2x square y. Y is actually a. That is dz dx. So it will be equal to x equal to 0 to a minus 2ax square into z 0 to a dx. So it is equal to x equal to 0 to a. We will put z equal to a. That means it is equal to minus of 2a square x square dx. The integration of x square will be x cube by 3. So it will be minus of 2a square x cube by 3 and 0 to a. So it will be minus of 2 by 3 a5. So the integration of a dot and ds along third surface will be equal to minus of 2 by 3 a raised per 5. Now we will evaluate the integral along S4. Along S4, the fourth surface. The fourth surface is this one. This one is the fourth surface. The fourth surface is n cap is actually minus j cap and y equal to 0 here. So n cap is so n cap is minus j cap y equal to 0, ds can be converted to dx dz, x varies from 0 to a and z varies from 0 to a. Now what is a dot n cap? S4 a dot n cap ds, a dot n cap with y equal to 0, a dot n cap is minus 2x square y. So a dot n cap because n cap is minus of j. So minus of j dot product of j will be minus 1. Minus 1 cancel out to this minus sign. It will be x square y but we have to put y equal to 0. That means it will be 0. So the a dot n cap will be 0 and it will be 0, 0 ds or it is 0. The integration along four surface will be 0. Now the fifth surface along S5. S5 actually upper surface. So this is S5. This is S5. So S5 is this surface. Z equal to A. And the N cap is actually K cap. This is N cap. So S5 is Z equal to A. At S5, Z equal to A. N cap equal to K cap. And ds can be converted to dx dy because variables are xy. x varies from 0 to a and y varies from 0 to a. What is a dot n cap? n cap is k cap. 
the third component. The third component is how much? The third component of the vector is actually this 2k cap. So it is 2. So it is 2. That is k dot n cap will be 2. The integration x equal to 0 to a, y equal to 0 to a, dy dx. So it is x equal to 0 to a to y dx. y varies from 0 to a. So it will be 2a x and 0 to a. So it is 2a square. So the integration along this fifth surface is 2a square. Now we will take the sixth surface along S6. The S6 is the lower one. This z equal to 0. This one is the S6. So n cap will be minus k cap. So at n S6, z equal to 0. n cap will be minus k cap. ds can be converted to dx dy. And x varies from 0 to a and y varies from 0 to a. So the integration of S6, it was S5. And now S6, a dot n cap ds. It will be equal to x equal to 0 to a, y equal to 0 to a and the integration the third component was 2 2 k cap dot minus k cap that will be equal to minus of 2 dy dx and similarly we can have x equal to 0 to a minus of 2y 0 to a dx equal to minus of 2 a x 0 to a that is equal to minus of 2 a square so the integration along six surface is this one. So the integration of the total value of integration that is S A dot N cap ds can be written as the sum of S1 plus S2 plus S3 plus S4 plus S5 plus S6. S1. S1 is how much? S1 is A5 minus A4 by 4. A5 minus A4 by 4. The second one. And the second one is second one is this one a4 by 4 it is plus a4 by 4 third one third one is minus 2 by 3 a5 minus 2 by 3 a5 fourth one is 0 and fifth and sixth are 2a square minus 2a square plus 2a square minus 2a square that means these two cancels out. Also, this a4 by 4 minus a4 by 4, this cancels out. It is a5, it is 2 upon 3 a5. So that this minus this equal to it is minus sign here. So it is 1 minus 2 by 3, that is 1 upon 3 a raised to the power 5. That is the value of the integral which we have to calculate. So we have calculated this integral that is 1 upon 3 a raised to the power 5. That means this part. We have sold and it is equal to 1 upon 3 a raised to the power 5. Now we will solve this part. We will convert this into the volume integral. To convert it into the volume integral, we will first calculate the divergence of A. So what was A? A was x cube minus minus yz i cap minus 2x square y j cap plus 2k cap. To convert it into the volume integral, we have to first evaluate the divergence of A. That means del over del x, x cube minus yz plus del over del y, that is minus 2x square y plus del over del z of 2. So that will be equal to del over del x that is 3x square differentiating with respect to y it will be minus of 2x square differentiating with respect to z it is 0 so it is x square so the volume integral can be written as the right hand side can be written as the right hand side is volume integral divergence of a 
dv. The limits, the limits we can have from. So all the limits, the x varies from 0 to a, y varies from 0 to a, and z varies from 0 to a everywhere. That means limits are 0 to a, 0 to a, 0 to a. So that the limits are x equal to 0 to a, y equal to 0 to a, z equal to 0 to a, and the divergence of a is x square that is dz dy dx. So it is equal to x equal to 0 to a, y equal to 0 to a, and the integration with respect to z is x square z, and the limits are 0 to a dy dx. So it is equal to x equal to 0 to a, y equal to 0 to a, and then x square a, that is a x square and dy dx. Now integrating with respect to y, it will be x equal to 0 to a, and then a x square y, the limits are 0 to a dx equal to x equal to 0 to a, it is equal to a square x square dx. Now integrating with respect to x, that is a square x cube by 3 and limits are 0 to a. So it will be equal to 1 upon 3 a raised to power 5. So it is 1 upon 3 a raised to power 5. The right hand side is 1 upon 3 a raised to power 5. So right hand side is also 1 upon 3 a raised to power 5. So this is equal to 1 upon 3 a raised to power 5. That means the left hand side, which is this one, it is equal to 1 upon 3 a raised to power 5. Right hand side, which is this one, 1 upon 3 a raised to power 5. The left hand side, the surface integral equal to 1 upon 3 a raised to power 5. And the volume integral, it is also 1 upon 3 a raised to power 5. That means we have verified the Gauss divergence theorem for this question. The notes in the PDF format can be found below in the description. Thank you.